This is the playful side of Black Bright reporting on the dark side of Love Island yet again. Um, yeah, good night tonight, wasn't it? Actually, it's a good night every night. And we started off with Mike and Leanne. Leanne saying she's shocked that Mike did that to her. Don't know what she expected. I don't know, she, it looks like she expected some form of loyalty for the two weeks, despite of how she spoke to him. And no, she doesn't deserve it. He has no, he doesn't owe her anything. So yeah, probably he did do it because he didn't want to see, he didn't want her to see anybody else see him with anybody else but I think it was more to do with he didn't want to see her crack on with anyone else these men are very territorial in the villa they're just like little lions you know with their prey you know hovering around making sure and watch them I mean when you watch those dynamics it is those men are very territorial so when you think about that situation I really think he couldn't stand to see Leanne with somebody else if somebody came into the villa. I don't think it was about him um, not being able to do what he wanted to do in front of Leanne because he made it clear he didn't give a toss when he started to talk to Jess in front of her. So that was her punishment for rejection. Then, he's so up front, isn't he? What a load of balls he's got. Pulls over Jess, poor little Luke M. And, Luke, and I mean, it's like chalk and cheese, isn't it, really? I mean, Big Mike, I'll call him Big Mike and Luke M. I mean, I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, she has feelings for Mike and they had feelings from the beginning because, remember, she chose Mike in the beginning and they had a little thing going on. So they knew that was going, but he decided he didn't want her for some reason. He wanted um, Leanne. I thought he didn't want Jess because she was very voluptuous, very sexy looking, and he wanted somebody a bit more tempered. That's what I thought. And now I still don't trust him. I still don't know if he really wants Jess or it's because he is um, desperate. But then he's stupid because he knows more women are coming into the villa. Or is he genuinely interested in Jess because she's an intelligent woman? I mean, she's got degrees. I mean, she is one smart cookie. So is he genuinely interested in her? I do hope so, because if he's playing her around and then he makes her, well, manipulates her to leave Luke M and he's bullshitting, that is not nice. He's not going to go down very well. So I don't think he's going to have um, the public backing anyway, even if those two do match up. I don't think they're going to have the public backing he would have had when he was with Leanne. I think he, the way he's going around things, and it's that, especially when he's now turned it into a competition, I mean, he was peed off that Luke M came for Jess. What a bloody nerve. It's Luke M's woman. And you're there cuddling up underneath the blankets and expect him to sit there and watch it. Uh, you know, enough props to Luke M for going for his woman. And now Mike is saying, oh, the game is on. It is a bloody game for him. So with the way Mike looks and the way his attitude is exactly the same, he's got these kind of smiley eyes. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. I really wouldn't. Moves on too quick, gives everybody the same, you know, lip. And, nah. Who else was there? Anyway, Jess isn't taken, by, taken in by him, but, the thing is, she likes him, so she wants to believe him, and that is her weakness. Very intelligent girl, but she does like Mike. The two of them are educated people. They, they, they do vibe off of each other. So her weakness is that she is attracted to him, even though she knows he's bullshitting. So I don't know how that's going to pan out. I, I, I wish 
something could expose him so she doesn't Luke, lose Luke M. But I've got a funny feeling it's not. I think she's going to go there with Mike. She's already told um, Luke M the truth. And um, yeah, and she's so honest. You know, I really admire that girl because, I mean, she even went so far as telling Luke M, look, I chose him. He is my type. We have a lot in common, but I'm with you. My loyalties are with you. So Luke M will not be surprised because Luke M was like me saying, you know, I can't see it happening. I don't see him with her. And I think it, visually they don't suit, but intellectually they probably do. And they probably stimulate each other. So that is a problem. I think Luke M is a nice guy, but maybe he doesn't have the intellectual capacity to stimulate her. That's just my opinion. Um, what else? Shauna. <coughs> Shauna. I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if the way she worded it to Sophie was correct. It was a, it was a bit harsh because when you think about being in the villa, it is a one-time opportunity. Once you leave, you leave. You never know who's coming through those doors. And so I don't think Shauna should have really given, um, Sophie a hard time. Okay, she liked Connor and Connor liked her, but she might have not, she might not have the same depth as what Shauna has with Callum. Shauna and Callum, I mean, she liked Callum from the moment he came into the villa. So, um, and she's really strong on Callum, but with um, Sophie, Sophie and Connor, they've always been up and down. She's always kind of said, oh, I'm not too sure. Is he a bit too sensitive? You know, she has been making excuses for Connor. So even though they were attracted to each other, I, I don't think he was the right fit for her. So she is entitled to stay and look for someone else. So I don't think it was appropriate for Shauna to tell her what she thought. But at least they talked it out, they apologised and they're girls again. So that's good. What else have I got to talk about? Um, who's right? Should Callum... Yeah, um, Sean have got upset with Callum uh, because he was upset with her for talking to Sophie the way she did. Now, do you think um, Callum's loyalty should have been to Shauna or should it have been to Sophie? I just like your thoughts on that because I can understand where Callum's coming from. He didn't, he doesn't want Sophie to be upset. But there again, he didn't, um, he accused Shauna as opposed to asking her what she said. He more or less said, you said something to me, you made Sophie cry. When he could have, said to Shauna, what exactly did you say, what exactly did you say to Sophie, because she's crying, and then Shauna would have been able to explain, and then he could have then said, oh, well, maybe you should have said it differently, or that kind of thing, but I think the fact that he immediately kind of uh, accused Shauna of s upsetting Sophie without knowing the background, the true background, like from the horse's mouth. I wasn't too sure about that. I mean, he's, I think, I think Callum's just a nice guy. He doesn't want to see anybody upset, to be honest. Um, Luke T doesn't mind getting his lips all red with Sophie. Those two, very, very good match. I'm rooting for them. When I'm voting, I'm voting for those two. I really like that couple. Not much um, going on with them tonight, so there's not much to say, and I'm not going to invent anything to say, apart from the kiss. Naz, oh, Naz has got his first kiss. I was sitting there thinking, come on, Naz, kiss her, kiss her. Just like the guys upstairs on the veranda part. But yeah, I'm so glad they've got that out of the way, so they've now broken the friend zone, and they are now in a couple and I think that relationship it has got potential even though technically he probably thinks she's not his type physically I think emotionally she's his type 
I think she's very good for Naz. And Naz is good for her. And he's so attentive and caring. I mean, look how he was supporting Sophie. He's really a nice guy, Naz is. Yeah, that's another one. Even Naz and Demi, I think they're a potential couple. Not sure if they're potential to win at this stage. Too early to call it. Um, but yeah. Because I think when you're looking at couples, you're not only just looking at who gets on and who's to, you know, who gets on the best or who seems to fall in love the best kind of thing. You're looking at all the little bits and pieces that make a couple a couple. You know, whether or not they can play with each other, whether or not, you know, they can take liberty and see how the other person reacts and all that kind of stuff. Because you see with Shauna and Callum, as much as she likes him, she flies off the handle every bloody five minutes. A bit like Paige and um, Finn. And it's all right while you're in the villa. But what's that going to be like when you're outside the villa? You've got somebody flying off the handle every five minutes. As soon as you say something, they get snappy and short. How is that going to work in the outside world? So... I don't see that dynamic ever happening between Luke T and Shanice. I think she might be a little bit fiery, but I don't get that, you know, that um, unsettled characteristic where they just blow things out of proportion. So, might be wrong, it's early days, but we'll see. Um, and Luke, has he got false eyelashes or what? Do you see his eyelashes? Next time, look at his profile. Look at his eyelashes. They're thick and long. It's like he's got false eyelashes on. Might be wrong. But take a look next time. What else? Um, Luke M could grow. Yeah, Jess is very mature. Already said that. Mike, but he'd be a sexy side dish. The thing is, it seems like they can hear everything in that villa. There's no privacy at all. I don't know if I'd like that. I, I would like my privacy. I can't be exhibiting everything out in the open like that. Every little conversation everybody hears. It's a bit like Big Brother in a way, but it's a bit more elaborate. Um, yeah, as for Mike, I'm not quite sure if he's a game player. I don't know if he's serious. I think the only way we're going to be able to tell is when they bring someone else in. They bring somebody else in and his eyes start lighting up, then we know he's full of crap. Um, I've had my reservations, but, you know, trying, trying hard to believe he's okay because he was hard done by by Leanne. He could be feeling a bit dejected. He could feel as though he needs to get back his um, credibility. And maybe that's what he's doing. So we'll have to see. I'm not going to throw him to the dogs just yet because I've got faith in him. Well, hopefully, don't let me down. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.